This is question 5 from paper 4-1 from the June 2020 exams from Cambridge International as the mechanics paper. Up the top right of the screen you'll find a link to the playlist that has all the solutions from the questions in this paper. And below the video you'll find a link to an image of this question so you can try it before looking at this solution. In this question, they ask us about a child that's on a swing, which in maths, as we always do, we model it as just a point P, much easier than a whole child. And they're, they're going to ask us a few questions about its speed and its distance, things like that. For example, the first question, they're going to ask us what speed it would be going when it was halfway down here. What speed would it be going here? Now, that's a difficult enough question. We'd have to use... Um, circular motion or something like that on it but there's a little cheat it's not too much of a cheat but there's a little cheat we can use here we can use the conservation of energy in this case we can check what the energy the system has when it's at its first spot and what energy it has here and we work out its kinetic energy and we use the formulas to find its speed so that's what we're going to do i don't think we need much more information we have the length of the swing is four yeah, let's get into this. Let's look at these two situations. We'll say uh, state one, uh, state, I was going to say zero, but state one will do the initial position. So what energy has this system got? It's, we have to work out its height because um, it has MGH, its potential energy, and it also has kinetic energy, which is zero because it's held at rest. They say it's held at rest. And then the state two, Right. You don't have to write out states or anything like this. It's the energy of the second system down here. It also has potential energy, mgh. So really, we only need the difference between them. But we'll, we'll do it out fully, uh, even though it's a little extra work. So that's the height here, the height of that system. And now this time it has a kinetic energy. It has a half m, uh, mv squared. And that's what they're asking about. They're asking about v. So this is how we can get v from this source system. So let's just work all this out. I, I know this height here is four. This, uh, this string is four. This is four. Well, it doesn't have to say the ground's on the bottom, but let's assume the ground is right at the bottom of the swing. Or if you want, you can add in an extra number, like one meter above the ground, but it'll get canceled out because we're gonna take one away from the other. So it really doesn't matter. We, we really just need the distance between overall. And uh, so the distance uh, between here and here, to get that, I'll need to look at this triangle. This triangle is four long, that's 45 degrees. I really need to know what this height is, uh, so I can take that away from four. And we can get that height, this is a right angle, this is also 45. Uh, we can get this height by using cosine, four cosine 45 will, will tell us this. And I think that's all we need. The energy of the first system is the mass, which is 35 kilograms. The gravity, we'll take that to be 10. And the height is four minus four cosine 45. That's um, the ent entire height minus this height. That's how I got this one. And put that in a calculator, we'll, we'll do that later. And uh, we don't need to do it now. Let's do the same for the second system. Remember the second system is going to be Slightly different, instead of 45, it's halfway along, so it's 22.5. Um, so the height will work out very similar, it'll be four cosine 22.5. So the energy of this system is 35 times 10, uh, multiplied by four minus uh, four times cosine 22.5, that's the potential energy, plus a half, M is 35 again, and V, we don't know V. We're going to find out V squared. Okay, they told us that there's no resistant force. That means there's nowhere else energy could have come from or gone from, except these two um, things. So going from this state to this state, they should have the same energy. So that means this should equal this. I, I had the equals there. So all we need to do is really rearrange this. Um, so V squared is on its own. I think we can do that. You might want to... Uh, do this a bit neater we would just get this number 35 at uh, 350 we'll say multiplied by 4 minus 4 cosine 45 you can put this in a calculator anytime you want really minus this one 350 they'll both have 350 you could put it together if you want minus 
Um, 4 minus 4 cosine 22.5. And then all divided by a half multiplied by 35. So all divided by a half multiplied by 35. And that's equal to v squared. I just rearranged this equation. Or let's save me writing any of that again. Square root of all of that. It's a bit of a mess, but these are just normal numbers. You can go ahead and put it into a calculator and we will get uh, we'll get the three significant figures. 4.16. Now I should say, you might have done this a little bit different. You didn't need um, this four minus four cosine 45. You could have just had four times cosine 45 because we really just want the difference between these two states. Would it would have been enough for us? As you can see, four minus four will both disappear. Or right, three hundred and fifty multiplied by four minus three hundred and fifty multiplied by four. They'll both disappear, so it wouldn't have mattered. And as I said, actually, this swing might have been above the ground by another half a meter or anything like that. So you should have got more numbers here, but they would have cancelled out. It wouldn't have mattered really. All right, I hope that answers part A. I'll, I'll rub this out and we'll do part B. It's quite similar. We're gonna have two states of energy. At this time, there is gonna be a resistance force. So for part B, they say there is a resistance force this time. The work done against the resistance force as P travels from its initial position to its lowest point is X joules. So that's how much work. Work is the same as energy. The speed of P at its lowest point is four meters per second. So we, we know what speed it is at its second point. So this time we're going to be going through state one, uh, which is 45 degrees. It's at rest. And state two, I'll come all the way down here. It's going to be down here, but it is traveling at four meters per second. That's the situation we're in. Uh, the first state, again, we'll work out what energy it has. It's uh, the same as last time. Um, e is equal to... Uh, I forgot, <laughs> 35, multiplied by 10, multiplied by its height, which we'll say is 4 minus 4 cosine 45. If you skip straight to this part, we worked this out in part 1, that's its height. And in the second part, um, in the second state, we'll work out its energy. It's not moving the first part, there's no kinetic energy. In the second state, we're working out its potential energy. Well, its height is zero in this case. We've decided the ground here, the swing goes straight to the ground, just skims it, I guess. Um, it's zero, so we'll write zero plus, then it has a kinetic energy. And that would be a half times 35 times four squared. Um, so these are the two different states, but they tell us that to go from one state to the other, it takes work of X joules. That's, that work it will be lost with the hinges, I guess, uh, the resistance in the hinges, air resistance, things like that. But it will take work um, to get from here to here. So this plus that work, it will be equal to this one. So that's what we write down. Uh, where did I put in? Oh, X is in the middle, That's uh, of course. So this one, we have 350, four minus, this is a number, you could put it in and just leave the decimal places if you want. I like to leave exact numbers till the end. Oh, cosine 45 is an exact number. We could, I don't know what it is off the top of my head, so I won't. So we have the, the energy of the first state plus the work done, which is X, must equal the energy of the last state. Uh, this is, what's this, 16 times a half is eight. Eight times 35, can I do that in my head? Um, 280, I believe. And then we just need to rearrange this. X is equal to 280 minus 350 multiplied by four minus four cosine 45. And we put that into a calculator and we get 130. At least that's to three significant figures because it, uh, there is a few decimal places, which you would expect this cosine 45 um, is a uh, square root of something. <laughs> Again, I'm not really sure what it is. Okay, I think that's, that answers everything. The second part is quite short. If, uh, if we use this energy conservation, the whole, the whole question should be quite short. I made it a bit longer than I needed with working at the exact lengths there. But yeah, it's uh, quite short we use this energy conservation rather than uh, motion around a circle, which is a little more difficult. 
All right, if you have any questions or any follow-ups, uh, any suggestions or any mistakes, point out any mistakes, put them in the comments below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thanks for watching, have a great day.